Hello there. If you watched my channel before, there's a good chance you see me review some Echo outdoor power equipment like these items right here. Last week, Echo had their 2023 Media Summit where I was there as one of the members of the Echo User Advisory Group. They also had some members of the media there and we were able to see 21 brand new items that Echo is gonna be launching here very soon. If you're interested in getting an up close look at them or even testing them out, if you go to the Equip Expo next month in Louisville, you can see everything that I'm talking about. So in today's video, I'm gonna quickly go through the list of those items, but I'm gonna focus on one of my favorites and that is the three bay battery backpack blower. So I know that there's a large group of people that are gonna stick with the gas backpack blowers, people that are doing lawn and landscaping and that makes sense for them. But then there's also a group of people that are looking for something in battery powered between the landscapers and the homeowners. And I think Echo came up with a great solution for that. So what we're gonna do now is take a look at some of my footage from just a few days ago at Lake Zurich, Illinois at the Echo headquarters. So right now we're going to hear from senior product manager, Jason Wilk. He has a lot of information that he's going to be sharing here on the battery power backpack blower. There is just a little bit of wind noise here and there. I had my furry windscreen on, but the wind was a little bit strong and you might hear it at times. So sorry about that. The five and also the new eight. Obviously when it comes to the blowers, it's a very high load type of application. So it really drains the power out of that battery uh, quickly. So we felt it important to incorporate a three port design to give you that longer uh, runtime. And what we were able to do is actually incorporate some pretty smart technology in here. So we, the way we're able to get so much power out of this unit is we're actually pulling a little bit of power from each battery pack separately. So combined, we can produce a unit that provides up to 25 newtons of blow force. So that's actually a little bit actually more uh, performance than our uh, 58cc two-stroke PB58, right? And then on your control here, so same similar look at what you find on a PB580, so rubber over molded grip for comfort. Uh, we have a cruise control lever here, so you can engage that to whatever speed you want. Complete variable speed uh, trigger here. And then we also have some indicator lights on here. And what I want to do is just kind of show you what those indicator lights do. So first, this one, two, three directly correlates to the one, two, three battery port on the back. So you can see if I remove a battery, and I re-engage it, it's now gonna show me that I do not have a battery in, in port number two. In the event you're swapping out batteries and you get a battery that's actually maybe a defective battery, right? And you put it in there, this will actually blink at you telling you, hey, there's a bad battery in port one, two, or three. And then what this top uh, gauge is, this is a combined capacity of all the batteries together, right? So if I take out two batteries and I only have one in there, it's gonna say I have a full tank. But if I start using this, you're gonna see that gauge is gonna drop pretty quickly, right? Because I'm only pulling from one battery. So now as I add additional batteries and I start using this unit, you're just gonna see that's gonna fall not as quickly, right? Because now we're pulling from extra capacity. So this is kind of like a combined fuel gauge with whatever battery capacity you have in the back. Obviously batteries are pretty expensive, so we incorporated kind of this roll cage design this is a design that goes back to probably the mid to late 90s. We dug it out of the design closet. We had some uh, roll cage models back in the day. Felt it important to protect these expensive batteries if this thing you know, falls off the back of the truck, it's rolling around, um, just protects that, that case. And this was you know, designed to also protect the new larger eight amp hour battery capacity. So uh, it does have a turbo button like you find on the handheld model. What we've done here is this is actually a locked uh, push the lock on, push the lock off turbo button. So if you want maximum performance, you don't have to sit there and keep pressure with your thumb on that button. You toggle it once, it'll stay at that uh, turbo setting, and it'll stay there until you re-engage it to take it off of that turbo setting. Same type of posi lock tubes that you find on our gas powered unit, same type of flex uh, cable. This will only be offered in a tube uh, mount throttle configuration heavy duty padded straps, and then it also has a chest strap on there uh, just to keep it secure and kind of prevent the straps from sliding down um, your shoulders. So this unit, without any batteries in it, will weigh about 15 pounds, and then it really is up to you to customize what kind of batteries weight you want to add to it. So five amp hour batteries are right around five pounds a piece. Uh, the eight amp hour batteries are right around six pounds a piece. So you can actually mix, mix and match uh, you know, if you're getting towards the end of the day and you have a couple two and a halves and an eight or a five, 
it doesn't have to be all the same amp hour capacity, but any mixture in the unit will, will work properly with any of the combination of batteries that we offer. What does the kit often ship with? So the, we ha we're going to offer this out of the gate in two different types of configurations. Bare tool, so no batteries, no charger. It's a 349 retail price point. Uh, the kit with two 5 amp hour batteries and the new dual port charger you saw today will be $699. And then obviously there'll be an extra port there. If you need extra run times, you can customize and get an accessory two and a half, five, or eight. Do you anticipate offering it with eights? It's something we're looking at uh, based on um, some some pro feedback. You know, run times obviously important, maximum run time. So uh, you're going to be hearing about a unit. We don't. We're not officially launching it today, but we're looking at basically taking this to the next level of a pro model uh, metal uh, wear indicator at the end of the tube. 8 amp hour uh, capacity, possibly two dual port chargers. So out of the gate, it's this uh, kind of mid-level focus. We are looking at converting this into a, a true, you know, commercial package with maximum runtime. What's the CFM on it again? Uh, so this is 795 CFM and 195 miles per hour, and that's on the turbo bar. So now we're going to see some footage of this backpack blower in action with some others, and then also with myself running it. It's so cool. <laughs> it looks so, powerful. So. Yeah. Oh, no, it's amazing. It's, it's amazing. Mark, you got to try it. Yeah, I, yeah, You're I'm next. To, yeah, You're I, next. Thanks. So you're probably wondering what are all 21 items that Echo launched at this event? Let's take a look. So first of all, we have the PB7910 gas backpack blower. So that's offered in two different versions. So item number one is a tube throttle. Item number two is a hip throttle. And then there's the battery power backpack blower, the one that we just saw. And then here is a new top handle chainsaw, the Arborist saw, battery powered, the DCS 2500TN. So then right here we have the DPS 2600. This is a battery powered pro attachment series power head. As you can see that green X right there, that is the pro grade, that's the commercial grade. And then we have the DPPF 2100 battery power pruner. And right here we have the battery power pruner. This is in the X series, but this has a telescoping handle, DPPT 2600H. And then we have a DP 2600 battery edger. That's the X series. So then we have four different hedge trimmers right here. They're all the X series. So one is the DHC 2200, which is a 22 inch. The other one is 28 inch. And then below that with the orange on it, that is a battery hedge trimmer, DHCS 2800. And then that's 28 inches and then the 34 inch. So what's cool about the two lower ones, that's made to cut in one direction. So all your clippings will hang on to that little orange tray right there. And then when you get to the end of that, you can dump them off. You'll see that in the upcoming video if you haven't seen it before, they're cool. And then we have a dual port rapid charger. And then here's another blower. So this one is the PB5810. So you can get this in two different versions, the tube throttle and the hip throttle. And then here's a new chainsaw, the CS3410 gas rear handle chainsaw. So here we have a 56 volt battery curve shaft trimmer. And then here's a X series DHCA 2600 articulating shafted hedge trimmer. And we have a new battery. This is the LBP 56V 400, eight amp hour battery. And here's a top mounted charger, LC-56V1A. And that is it on that list. But then there's also something, I don't have a picture of it. There's some new advancements to their Echo Robotics. So instead of having a wire in the ground, they have some new technology where it can run off the satellites or the GPS. So there's gonna be some more details on that. I have some footage, but it's a little bit more than what I can quickly explain in this video. 
All right, so now that you've seen all the items, let me know down below what item you have a question about or which one interests you. And then when it comes to backpack blowers, would you consider going into that battery version or would you stick with gas? Let me know there as well. So if you like seeing this video with some new tool reviews, you wanna see some others and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so, hit that button right there. And then I also made a short echo playlist for you right over here that you can check out. That way you can see some other products that I reviewed in the past and you can see how they work for you. So that's it friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.